Y'all know who I am, the Supreme Soup in the building. I just listened to An Evening with Silk Sonic by Silk Sonic last night and wanted to give my thoughts on it. Basically, just run through these tracks real quick and kind of talk about it. I've never put out anything this good, so who am I to judge? Right? Facts. My only gripe with this album, gripelets, if you will, it's too short. It's only about a half hour long. And when it was through, I almost was caught off guard. I didn't really think it would end that quickly, especially leading into the other gripe I have with the album. I'd already heard half of it before the album even dropped. So four of these songs I'd already heard, probably listened to uh, Put On A Smile, as soon as the album dropped. This is three, two or three weeks this album's been out already and I just got to it. Hearing four of these nine tracks before the album drops doesn't make the album listen very eventful. So that's one issue piled on top of the fact that it's such a short album. Now it's just a little bit of music to listen to and what are the odds of out of these five songs I'm gonna find another banger? Now, being that it's Silk Sonic and they put out great music, the odds are much higher. But still, <laughs> after last night, I would say medium level. It was an in, another in-betweenish track. Smoking Out the Window is decent, but not one of my favorites on the album after listening to all these. Put On A Smile as well. Epic. It was... It, it, it just feels cinematic. It feels dramatic. So I like put on a smile 777 that's exactly what i was talking about that song when it comes to energy funk attitude just the character of the song alone definitely has it among the best of the album blast off was a, a little bit slow, a little too majestic for I like I like when Silk Sonic has kind of like spunkiness, attitude, humor. This like Blast Off was a little bit too calm for me, I should say. Fly is me, seven seven seven. Those were the two songs, the two newer ones that resonated with me the most. Those are my favorites. Nothing out, nothing else really stood out to me besides the ones that I've already heard. Leave the Door Open, obviously, is forever stuck in my head. Basically, to summarize it, yeah, it's, it's good. It's great. The quality of music is there. The style is there. I, I don't know what to expect from them next. Could they go further in a direction of, you know, that old disco vibe? Or are they going to explore a new decade? I don't know. I have no clue. We'll just have to wait and see. That being said, this is a good project. Could have been a bit better, but I'm not going to complain too much. I just like to give the pros and the cons. If you want to see my full reaction to it, you can check out my Patreon. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. That video is up there for free for the public. So check out my reaction. And while you're there, consider becoming a patron. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel and give me your thoughts on this album and any requests you'd like to see me cover next. I appreciate everybody watching. Much love to you all. Peace.